Hey guys, so this week is another Copic drawing and um, I decided to do something a little bit different and do a Mario piece. Um, I was really excited to do this. This, this image just kind of popped in my head um, sort of randomly and I was like, oh, that'd be fun to do, something a little bit different, um, something kind of fun. And so I did some thumbnails, you know, I planned it out a little bit. I mean, I didn't fully plan it out, just sort of the basic elements, like the basic composition with um, Mario and, and Bowser um, and Toad, that was probably about it. And um, so I have to apologize though that the quality is really bad. <laughs> I don't know, my camera just didn't completely focus. I mean, I think there was also maybe a couple shadows on the piece, which is probably myself, I don't know. I'm probably the shadow. <laughs> and I don't know why that happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it kind of ticks me off though, because I was really excited for this video to go up. And then whenever I found out the footage was so crappy, I was really upset. But yeah, anyway, um, so I, I'm not like uh, probably most people my age that played Mario growing up or anything like that. Actually, um, I didn't play Mario until I was maybe 19 or 20 and it was like Mario Party, it wasn't even like a regular Mario game, it was Mario Party, and, um, it wasn't until my brother actually got into the Mario games that I, uh, that I played any of them. It's something that we kind of do together, like, we played, um, Super Mario 3D World and, um, what is it, Mario Bros. U, the one for the Wii U, um, well, I mean, they're both for the Wii U, but, you know, uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that that's the thing. I didn't I didn't play them as a child. It wasn't until way more recently that I played a Mario game. And uh So yeah, but I I wanted to um do this because it seemed uh kind of fun and kind of different. And, um I wanted to be able to use like some more bright colors, like colors that I probably otherwise wouldn't really be able to or not be able to, but I otherwise wouldn't use in a piece. Um, so yeah, um, I mentioned in my last video that I ran out of uh, the Gina K Pure Luxury cardstock, and I decided to take a chance on the Hammer Mill. Oh, what's it called? Color Copy Digital Cover. That's what it's called. Um, I decided to take a chance on it because I had been hearing a lot of people, including Bailey J, say that it was good paper for Copics, and I didn't believe them <laughs> because you can get quite a bit for your money. Um, I'm like, surely not such a cheap paper would actually be able to be used for, um, for something like Copics, and I was like, but I was like, I might as well take a chance on it. I mean, the I'm sure the paper will get used somehow, and uh, I needed paper quickly, because <laughs> um, normally the Gina K Pure Luxury cardstock takes like a week to come, and I didn't want to wait that time out. Plus, the shipping cost is like almost, if not more, than the cost of the actual paper. So, it came, and I did some swatches on it, it seemed okay to me, but you can really, you can't really judge a paper until you've actually done a picture with it. And so I started using it, and it works very well. Um, I'm not going to say it works exactly like the Gina K Pure Luxury cardstock, but, oh, um, it, Whenever it comes to the Gina K stuff, I only ever use the ivory, I don't use the white. The white is different than the ivory, I don't know why, but, like, the white is garbage. Um, but anyway, uh, 
it's not that I can't tell a difference because I'm pretty sure there kind of is one, but it's not such a huge difference that I felt like I there was like some sort of learning curve with the paper that I had to overcome. I just felt like I was able to use it pretty normally. Like I was able to use my Copics the way I would normally use my Copics. So that was a plus and I was like, I was like, wow, this is, this is really great. And I, I, I bought like a 250 pack. I'm like, this will last me for a while. Even if I do buy more, um, Gina K, like this is, this is great, um, that this paper exists. Um, and I probably will continue to use it because it works just fine. I mean, I'm not saying there probably isn't maybe better Copic paper out there. Depends on your needs, I guess. But, um, it works really well, so... If you want to try it out, I, I recommend, um, giving it a go. So, whenever I was, um, drawing this out, it was kind of hard figuring out what all I was going to put in it, because there's a lot of things in Mario, like, there's a lot of things that are pretty iconic to it, so it was kind of hard to, um, to decide what was going to go into the piece and what I was going to leave out, because I try to keep these things from being too, too busy, while also keeping it maybe interesting, you know, um, not overdo the elements, basically, but still have enough in there that it, um, that it feels like a Mario piece, I guess, I don't know, um, and I knew that I wanted Mario, I knew I wanted Toad, and obviously I needed to have Bowser kidnapping Peach right there, which I don't know if you can tell that that's what's going on because Peach is so teeny tiny, but, um, yeah. And I almost put Luigi in here, um, like, behind Mario, but I just felt like I wouldn't, I just felt like it was going to look more distracting than really look helpful to the piece, I guess, so I just put that piranha plant back there, which I rather quite, um, like, I like these little bits of red, like, Mario is, like, the biggest thing of red, but then there's little bits of that shade of red elsewhere, like, on Toad, on the piranha plant, and on Bowser, and, um, I wish I could remember what color of red that is, it's a somewhat newer red that I got, and I'm really in love with it, it might be the light rouge, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's R24. I don't know. Like, that I, that kind of sticks out my mind. Um, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do a Toad House behind Toad or if I wanted to do a, do a warp pipe, but I felt that the warp pipe was maybe a little bit more iconic. Like, it seemed too iconic to leave it out, so... I did that, and I was trying to kind of design everything to kind of look a little bit like a level. I mean, obviously not exactly, because most of them, what they, like, most of them are like side-scroller kind of thing, and, um, yeah, that's what I was trying to do, like, by putting in the coins, putting in the, uh, boxes and stuff like that, and, yeah, so with the composition, though, I kind of tried to <laughs> have it all kind of work its way around, like, um, like, Mario's, like, arm kind of leads to Toad, and, like, Toad's pointing, and, like, the, um, the tree kind of helps frame it, as well as the, um, the ship all kind of leading to Bowser, so it's like this, not only is it in a circle, it's like a very kind of circular composition, um, but yeah, um, man, I really rambled about that. <laughs> uh, oh, there's this one. There's, there's this, it shouldn't, it, you guys probably can't even see it, but it bothers me to no end that I actually went a little bit outside my circle with the sky color. It, it bothered me so bad. I was like, no, like, cause I color out, I color outside the lines more than I'd really like to, but whenever it comes to these, like, circular things, I'm usually very careful about keeping it all in the circle, but with this, I, just, just that little bit of blue there. <laughs> oh. It's not too bad, but. Mm. Um, 
man, uh, now, I'm, now, I'm, now I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Probably about that. But, um, yeah, this was a lot of fun to do. I was kind of like, I wouldn't have minded if this would have even like taken longer. Um, just because it was a lot of fun to do. I just enjoyed making it. Um, and that was kind of the point of doing, the point of doing this, you know, um, was to have uh, fun with it because it's something a little bit different. Um, also, <laughs> I, um, uh, I said that this week would maybe be a sketch with me sketch chat or something like that. Um, that didn't end up happening. <laughs> I still would like to do a video like that, but it turns out it's a lot harder to sketch on camera than you think it is. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I keep getting kind of nervous and not sketching how I would normally sketch, and the sketches keep turning out really stiff and weird. Um, but I do want to see if I can still do it, maybe, but yeah. So I guess that just about wraps it up. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and is there anything else I want to mention? I don't think so. I'll see you next time. Bye.